Hello. Hello. We know that black's not the right color to paint a roof of a shipping container. Definitely not. Actually, heats it up the plate of the shipping container a lot because of the color. But in our case, we do have an explanation to use this kind of paint. Yeah. So if you're curious to understand why we did that, just stick with us. And we are going to show how we got to this point. <laughs> yeah. And I, hopefully by the end of this episode, you will agree with us on our decision to paint with this color. Hopefully. So let's get started. Yeah. to talk about the painting we need to talk about the rust yeah actually <laughs> a shipping container that is 15 years old there is a lot of rust and it had more than we thought it would be I don't know if you guys understood we have another episode that we talk about the problem with water on the top of the shipping container if uh, you didn't watch the links here, the here. <laughs> but we ha actually just to clarify we had one main area where the water stayed there a lot and there were maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 rows or so, holes or something. So it was all rusted. And we said that the company that we bought the ship container from was gonna fix for us. And they did it. They did it, but we didn't explain why. The thing is, when they sold us the shipping container, they said that the roof would be good with not even one hole and there were so many. So they decided to give the fixing to us as warranty and as it was warranty I l we let them do it instead of us doing it because if they do a mistake they will fix it if we do it they wouldn't you know if we get the plate that they gave us and I weld they wouldn't there wa wouldn't be any warranty after that so here's a few footage of the guy that works on the company fixing for us That would be pretty cool. And that was like a big job because it was like a big And he plate. was really quick. Actually. Yeah, he was. I mean, he's a professional. He works doing that. So it was a lot quicker than we. But the good thing is I learned a lot by just watching him work and I got a lot of little uh, tips and a lot of li uh, small advices and that was really really good yeah. I mean one of the tips was I thought I couldn't use the gas that with that much pressure he used at least twice the pressure I used because of the wind and he could weld with much more wind than I could I was able to before so that was a good learning and about the, the thing that you said about going from the bottle to the top yeah, he's. I don't know if you guys remember, but in one episode that here. is here, <laughs> I talk about uh, how it's much easier to weld from the bottom to the top because you you bring the heat more when you weld from the bottom to the top when it's a vertical weld. And actually, he fixed this thought. He said that when you have a thick plate, that's the way you do it. But if you have a thin plate, it's much easier to come from the top to the bottom. So that's good to know. I was wrong. I mean. I wasn't wrong. It's, it's the just pressure that it worked to me, but he said that if you have like a thin plate, you should go from the top to the bottom. So, so it's the opposite. It's the opposite. You can <laughs> use both ways depending depending on the width, how to call it, like the thickness of the plate. So now that we fix everything, what it's did you do? Paint. <laughs> I mean, that was a. I, I can I can't even remember how long we've been we've been working on the roof. Yeah, it's me been neither. Seems like we've been working on the roof for just forever it's just like i don't know it's just <laughs> since such last a long time year, actually since last year <laughs> since 2017 <laughs> yeah but uh the thing is the roof was basically a huge experiment for us because we had no idea which kind of paint to use and we didn't have any experience about painting or? yeah people s people think welding is hard but painting for us is much harder than yeah. welding i mean at least for me i don't know for you because you didn't <laughs> weld yet one day she is gonna weld one day, yeah. 
we didn't know what to do, so we start doing the roof with one kind of paint, and then we decide that it was not the right one. We went to the second kind, and then we just keep changing in each spot we did. So I think it's easier we, if we go step by step of what we did. First one, epoxy primer. Yeah. So the first plane was to get the angle grinder and took all the little spots, little rust, rust spots, and we grind everything we thought that there was rust and then we paint with epoxy primer yeah the plan was to paint some parts then we can we could assess all the container like how can i explain that yeah the plan was to paint in uh different areas so we could walk around, around because if we paint the whole area we could not walk and uh, access the place to paint so basically we divided the shipping container in parts and do it like a part each day yeah but as we we kept this for too long yeah. we leave this for too long the rust the rust started to, to come, come back, back. Yeah. yeah the, the thing is when it's you don't know what you're doing <laughs> it's just a surprise we didn't know that was our mistake that we could not leave the primer for too long for too <laughs> long exposed to the weather because the what's i don't who said that someone that follow us did said on a comment on the comment section below said that the primer has uh, the surface is really rough i mean not rough i don't know the name now but there is more area so there is like it's more there's the more contact is the contact is bigger the area of contact is bigger so easily the water you know rusts the plate so after almost a month with primer exposed to the weather we got some rust back yeah and then we decide to try a different way we decide to rust to grind the other side of the container and to use rust converter but didn't work that well rust converter it's it's basically you guys know it's a kind of paint that converts the rust into primer but where there is a lot of rust seems like the primer is much better but once you just paint a few spots and i just paint the whole area on the top where there was no rust seems like the primer didn't uh didn't like glue uh, not yeah. yeah didn't glue well like the contact was not that good with the paint of the shipping container so it started to crack the paint so this part we actually did rust converter and on the top of that we did some i don't remember anymore. The, name, no, the, the black one the <laughs> same one as the yeah it's just the uh, same it's, it's the same kind of paint that we paint the windows and it's gonna be the paint of the whole shipping container so we painted an area with this kind of paint but now we did it in a different way we first did a small area and then we paint with the final paint and then we did another small area and then we painted with the final paint just to make sure the rust wouldn't come back as on the first area we decided because we had rust back on the epoxy primer so we decided to get the converter and apply on the top of the epoxy and that was not good like the the converter doesn't doesn't with, attach to yeah. the primer with the rain it go it went yeah. all the next day rain and and just went all we just lost the whole paint <laughs> didn't yeah. work at all so that's when we got lucky and that's when we had a save someone that saved us <laughs> And that's the, the cool thing is that who gave us the solution for the roof was someone that we met through this channel. Yeah. So one of our followers from YouTube was on vacations in our city and contacted us if he could come and help us as one day. So when he got here, he's like, no, you guys are doing wrong. And he has a lot more experience with paint. <laughs> so he decided to take us to the paint shop. So we went to the paint shop, we bought the paintings, and the next day, so they came, it was a couple, so yeah. they came two days in a row. <laughs> yeah, actually the, the cool thing is, they came for vacations, it rained for three days rained so, so lot. much. They the couldn't city do, was a chaos. The, the city was a chaos, <laughs> they couldn't do anything, and the next day when the sun came back, instead of going to the beach and have fun, they decided to come have fun with us on the building of our shipping <laughs> container, so that's really really cool so thank you guys a lot that was really really helpful and he gave us a lot of advices on what kind of painting and everything so we went to the store we bought all the paints with him 
and the next day he decided to come again to help us. It was not just advice, he did the work. <laughs> yeah, he actually worked on the... F so, just to understand, we bought a paint called... Black Mate Vinyl. They use a lot for cars, when they fix cars, and that actually helps with the corrosion. It's like a treatment for corrosion. And we found out that's a really, really easy paint to paint. It's just, I don't know. Another tip that he gave was about the, the rust, that we were taking too much of the rust. So he said that we shouldn't do in so many parts as we were doing. Yeah, the thing is when I was grinding the rust on the top of the shipping container, anything I thought would be rust, I would just grind off. Yeah. But sometimes I was just grinding stuff that was not even rust and just taking the good paint off. Yeah. And that paint is really good because it's the original paint of the shipping container. So he was like, no, 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 just clean the worst spots and then we just treat that. So what I did, I rust just the, I just I grinded the big spots yeah. and then I, we use converter on just on, on each big spot just to make sure I convert all the rust into primer. And then we use this black made vinyl that was really, really good to apply because it was just like something that dries really, really quick. Just like... It's as Basically, soon as you, as you apply it dries. Yeah, it was so hot that I apply and like maybe two minutes later I could touch already the paint. And 20 minutes later I could apply the final paint. So what we did, we applied this kind of paint in two different layers, in two different directions. So I would do the first layer in this direction and the second layer on this direction. So we did like cross layers that he said would be stronger, the paint. And then we apply this black paint that is the... Uh, liquid uh, concrete. asphalt coating. Yeah. It's basically liquid asphalt. It's a uh, asphalt paint. That it's a uh, really rubbery paint that really sticks really well on the top of the other one that you use. So we have like two layers of this really thick paint, and we are gonna have a deck on the top. So doesn't it's no problem that's gonna be black because you're gonna it's not gonna be exposed to the sun. But at the same time, it's really really strong the paint and we are making sure the water won't cross that and won't touch the shipping container the good thing is it's gonna be watertight hopefully <laughs> actually it was a week ago and it's still really good yeah actually it rained a lot a lot a and lot a lot the sun is really hot and when it's not when it's not raining and it's the first time that we paint something that's raining for a week and any rust came back. There is no rust at Yay. all. <laughs> and I think it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna last for a long time. And now we have this ready roof to start working on what's gonna be on the top. So next week, we are gonna talk about how we start producing the supports for the deck. Yeah. As you guys know, we're gonna have a wooden deck and underneath the wooden deck, we are gonna have a roof. So that means this is just the first episode about the roof because it's just too much to talk in one episode. So I think we're going to have another two episodes, one about the supports and one about the roof itself, or maybe three, one about the supports, one about the, the deck and one about the roof. Yeah, we'll we don't see. Know. Yeah. But the thing is, the reason why we have a, a support, no, we talk about that next week. Yeah. <laughs> so see you guys. Next week. Next week. So, almost there. Almost there? This part. Almost ready to start making some epoxy, epoxy primer. It's gonna take forever. Yeah. One day, eventually, we'll get there. <laughs>